Hello friend, friends, welcome back. So in the last step, we installed the Spring Cloud Slot dependency in all our micro services like currency conversion service, currency exchange service and the Netflix Jewel API gateway server and we show the how the trace ID, unique trace ID are getting assigned to the each request and we are seeing the, the, the trace ID in a particular log. However, uh, we we are facing a problem for the tracing if you if you want to trace the request we need to go each and every microservices individually to look for the log and look for the trace id so that problem will be resolved by the centralized log right so we'll have to implement something that all the logs should be put in a centralized place for all the microservices like so we can search that id uh, by the spring cloud slot that is fine but that should be placed in a centralized place right so we'll be we'll be seeing here how can how can the microservices will place all the requests into the centralizing place right so to implement the centralized distributing tracing server there are multiple vendor or you can say the server are available in the market right so just a minute yeah so let's see the first the vendor uh, and the server that are associated with to implement the centralized logging so first is the jepkin this is the open source other is the elk stack elastic search and other is the kibana so all these solutions gives the same kind of uh, user interface same kind of dashboard okay like based upon the services you can find the trace id or based upon the trace id you can find the particular log right so ultimate our goal is to put all the logs in a centralized place for all the microservices and using the spring cloud slot we are assigning the unique trace id for 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 each request right so here how how things will get implemented so you know for all the microservices if the requests are coming from the currency current services and it going through the each and every microservices all the log will have to write into the rabbit mq so all the requests suppose this request one request are coming and hits to the currency conversion service and if you are writing logout.info this currency conversion service should write that logger information to the rabbit mq and we have already implemented the spring clouds loud so with logger that trace id span id all are going with to the rabbit mq so all the requests that are generating a log with spring cloud slouth uh, implementation all the logs should write into the rabbit mq and rabbit mq is a producer right and jipkin's tracing server is a consumer so when the other request will come to the rabbit mq the jipkin tracing server this is the centralized place of all the log it will fetch the all the logs from the rabbit mq and it will put into the database right so from the database if you want to view the logs of 10 days back or two months back right or the last 24 hours log if you want to see you can go to the jipkin tracing server ui and you can select that filter and you can get the log so this is the consumer and this is the producer right so this is how we will be implementing the uh, the jipkin tracing server so it's it it will give you the consolidated view of logs of all the microservices. So you don't need to go each and microservices to check the log. You can come here, Jipkin Tracing Server. This will provide you an UI. You to go to the UI and check all the logs of all the microservices in a single place. So it's collecting the logs of all the microservices. Okay so uh, this is uh, how the functionality will work okay and the jipkin tracing server is connected with uh, with the database so uh, 
database you can you can have a in memory database like s2 you can have a mysql database you can have a mongo database or oracle database so you can you can implement any database and you can use that so the main point is how the request will put into the Revit MQ and how the Jepkin server will consume the re request, right? And put into the centralized place. So in the next step, we will see how you can install the Revit MQ. So if you have the time, see you in the next step. Bye bye.